Obsidian is often referred to as the second brain app. At first glance, its interface might seem overwhelming, but there is a huge potential hidden beneath. On the other hand, AppFlowy is an open source tool that combines note-taking and task management in a customizable workspace. However, if you were to choose between these, which one would you go for? Let's find out. Let's talk about first impressions. When you open Obsidian, you're greeted with a clean, somewhat minimalist interface that's heavily text-focused. Its setup feels more like you're navigating through a file explorer, but with a modern digital twist. Obsidian's main highlight is how it turns your notes into a network of ideas, linked through what they call vaults. Essentially, vaults are like folders on your computer, but with built-in connections between notes that visually represent relationships, almost like a web of your thoughts. AppFlowy, on the other hand, has a different vibe. Its interface resembles Notion, with blocks that you can rearrange to fit your workflow. This app emphasizes flexibility in how you structure your work, whether that's a simple checklist, a Kanban board, or a fully fleshed out calendar. While Obsidian feels like a deep dive tool for note-taking purists, AppFlowy balances between structured project management and note-taking. It's a bit like having a digital desk where you can organize everything just the way you like it. Now, while both apps have polished interfaces, there's a key difference in how they function for users new to productivity apps. Obsidian's initial learning curve can feel steep because of its heavy reliance on markdown and advanced customizations. If you're someone who enjoys tinkering and creating a system from scratch, you'll probably love this. On the flip side, AppFlowy is more approachable for beginners. With its open source nature, it invites users who want to adapt the software to their needs without feeling overwhelmed right out of the gate. Let's see features and benefits section by section. This will give you a clearer idea of how these two tools stack up in specific areas. Obsidian is designed for creating and connecting text-based notes. It supports Markdown, which allows users to format text with lightweight syntax. What sets it apart is its linking feature. By typing double square brackets, you can create connections between notes, forming a personal knowledge graph. This is particularly helpful for researchers, writers, and anyone dealing with interconnected ideas. Additionally, Obsidian allows tags, folders, and a robust search function, which gives users multiple ways to organize their information. AppFlowy takes a different approach, focusing on modular organization. Instead of plain text, it uses blocks, which you can arrange in any order. You can create to-do lists, tables, or rich text notes, all within the same workspace. While it doesn't rely on Markdown, it offers easy formatting through a user-friendly toolbar, which makes it accessible for people who might find Obsidian's text-heavy style too complex. Its strength lies in versatility, which allows users to switch easily between personal notes and structured project plans. Obsidian's linking system is one of its standout features. With bi-directional links, you can create a web of notes that help visualize relationships between ideas. It's like building a personal wiki, complete with a graph view that lets you see how all your thoughts are interconnected. This is ideal for brainstorming, mind mapping, or tracking research across multiple topics. On the other hand, AppFlowy focuses on more linear navigation, with intuitive menus and a sidebar that lets you jump between workspaces and pages. While it doesn't offer a graph view like Obsidian, it compensates with Kanban boards and hierarchical navigation, which are great for project tracking. Linking between blocks is more manual and straightforward, so it's not as sophisticated for creating a web of ideas. Customization is Obsidian's forte. With a library of over 700 plugins, you can turn Obsidian into almost anything you need. Want a Kanban board? There's a plugin. Need a calendar? You can add that too. Its themes allow you to tweak the app's appearance extensively, from minimalist looks to vibrant color schemes. You can even write your own plugins if you have the coding skills, making Obsidian one of the most adaptable apps on the market. While AppFlowy doesn't have as many plugins as Obsidian, it still offers a high level of flexibility, particularly for layout and content management. You can drag and drop blocks, create custom boards, and tailor your workspace to fit your style. 
AppFlowy's open source nature also means that developers can tweak the app's code to build features they need, but this might be more technical for casual users. Collaboration is where Obsidian falls short. It's primarily a personal productivity tool with no built-in real-time collaboration. Notes are stored locally on your device, so sharing requires exporting files or using third-party syncing tools like Git or cloud storage. This makes it great for solo users, but less ideal for teams. Collaboration is one of AppFlowy's strengths. With real-time editing, multiple team members can work on the same document or project simultaneously. It supports shared workspaces, which makes it easy to assign tasks and keep everyone on the same page. For teams managing deadlines or group projects, this functionality is essential. Obsidian's mobile apps bring the full potential of its desktop features to your phone or tablet. You can access plugins, write notes in Markdown, and even customize the toolbar to fit your mobile workflow. This consistency makes it easy to work across devices without feeling limited. AppFlowy's mobile app is designed for on-the-go productivity, with an interface that feels light and responsive. While it doesn't offer every feature of the desktop app, it provides enough tools to manage tasks, edit notes, and collaborate effectively. However, it's slightly less feature-rich compared to Obsidian's mobile version. Let's talk about the money. Obsidian offers a free version for personal use. It offers all its core features at no cost, and you only pay if you're using it for commercial purposes. The Catalyst license is a one-time payment of $25, which gives you early access to new features and helps support its development. For those who want more, there are two optional paid add-ons, Obsidian Sync for $4 per month, which allows you to sync notes across devices with end-to-end -end encryption, and Obsidian Publish for $8 per month, which lets you turn your notes into a website. AppFlowy has a straightforward pricing model. Its free plan is excellent for individuals or small teams, offering 5 gigabytes of storage and features like Kanban boards and real-time collaboration. For $10 per user per month, the Pro plan unlocks unlimited storage, advanced AI features, and more workspace members. Whether you're an individual user or managing a small team, it feels well-priced for what it offers. Everything considered, if you want a personal knowledge management system that you can customize to the tiniest detail, Obsidian is your best bet. But if you're looking for an open source, team-friendly alternative to apps like Notion, AppFlowy might be exactly what you need. Both tools are excellent in their own right. Whether you choose Obsidian or AppFlowy, you'll be investing in software that prioritizes user control and productivity. So give them a try and let us know which one you prefer.